All right, so today I'm going to try to show you guys how to get black border on logs by getting the black batch on chimps mode. So basically, the core of the strategy is just spamming uh, druids. We're going, to, we're going to be getting six druids, all of them up to zero and zero at the start. The other game's a little bit slow, so. Yeah, you want to make sure you get up your um, all of your druids like right here, because then they can all um, they can all buff each other with the poplus buff, so they'll all attack insanely quickly. Yeah. So with the strat, like I haven't lost that out. Like I have, I found really good success with it. Like I've I've tried it out a couple times just to make sure it worked. So, I'm sure you could do a lot of different things to improve the strat, maybe like, I don't know, I just like make it a little bit easier and it's like more reliable because my uh, strat does leak some lives that you need a, uh, you, need, you need at least a uh, 0 2 4 or uh, you need you need a zero two four spike factory in order to catch it, to make sure you don't die. So definitely could be improved upon. But the general idea is just get up all of your zero uh, get six zero ones uh, zero druids in this spot right here, like this rectangle. And after the, and after we do that, we're going to go for a ninja to take down round twenty four. Uh, this is taking a while, so I'm just going to skip this part. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm back. Alright, I'm back. And now we're on round 24, so I had to throw down the Zero Zero Ninja to pop the camo green. And now I'm going to get him up to a uh, 2 zero zero for, I believe it's round 33. And now we need lead popping power for round 28, and what I'm going to do for that is I'm actually going to use an alchemist. So just take the alchemist, throw it right in here, put the strong, one zero zero, and that beats that. Now I'm just going to go for a double shot ninja to make sure I have enough uh, camo popping power. There we go. And now uh, I'm just going to upgrade these druids to uh, 013s. Uh, so they get uh, increased attack speed as the round goes on. I'm not sure if you need a double shot for this round, but I find it like it really helps. Like it, You don't have to worry at all. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to get all of your Druids of Wrath up to uh, up by round 40 when the Moab comes out. And these guys should be more than enough to take it out. As round, I'm almost certain that you'll need the, uh, the double shot. I could be wrong though. I haven't been playing this game for very long. Like I don't, I don't have uh, most of my monkey knowledge, so. Actually, uh, this round you definitely need a uh, double shot for. Yeah. So I need to get up my last druid of wrath. And now we save up for a camo village.
because we're not going to just be relying on the ninja because all of our fighting power is going to come from these guys here. So I'm just going to plop down the village right here. So we're working on the rear scanner. And yeah, like I said, it's more than enough to beat it. Now we shouldn't have any difficulties until round 76, I believe it is. Yeah, because that round 76 is a ton of um, regrow ceramics that are like packed around on top of each other. Round 63 isn't a bit of an issue. These guys have pretty decent peers. I've never really had any trouble with that round. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to start getting up our pop loss. And we want 6 because the attack speed boost can stack up to 5 times on every druid. So this can, druid can buff 5 others and so on and so on and so on. So, pretty good. Also gonna get uh, this guy up to a uh, two zero zero just for some uh, better lead popping power because acidic acidic mixture chip um, lets gives them lead popping power. Now it's time for pop loss number three. And number four. Number five. And number six. Hey, got an MK. That's very useful in chimps. So now I'm going to work on getting this guy to a 402 alchemist. And I'm going to be getting another one in here so I can buff all of my druids. Because I believe a 402 alchemist can buff 3 druids. So there goes stronger stimulant. And faster throwing. I kind of messed up my placement, but it's fine. I can just put them right here. Put them on strong. I don't think the targeting on the alchemist really matters. They just like having it on strong because of the way uh, alchemist works. And there we go. Now I'm going to work on my spike factory. I'm just going to get it down here. Put it on close to make sure the spike pile doesn't get eaten up by BFPs and such coming down this lane. If we're on 59, I believe um, that I'm just going to get bigger radius so just to make sure it's getting everyone. I believe uh, just the alchemists are enough to get this. Yeah, more than enough. So I'm going to get my 0 to 4 up, and I think it's pretty obvious what this is going to become. Chrono Spike is a very good tower, ev even after the nerf that it got. So yeah, I'm going to be going for that. And now I'm, a, I'm going to save up for a MIB. I'm going to make this a 2-3-0 village. I'm getting the MIB just so it's uh, better group popping power. Or lead popping power, rather. Yeah. 
All right, here comes round 63, one of the most dreaded rounds in the game. Like this strategy makes it extremely easy just because of the group popping power of druids. And there it is. So I say 100 for Mib, so I'm just saving up for that right now. Uh, that run gives you a lot of money. There we go, we got our Mib. I'm gonna get tr jungle drones on this just to boot, b buff the uh, druids just a little bit more. There we go. And now for round 76 in order to beat it, you need to get make sure you get these two here's the two heart of oak to get rid of the um the regrow on the ceramics, otherwise it will regrow out of control and you won't be able to contain it. And now I save up for a perma spike. I'm just going to jump ahead to the next round that stuff starts happening, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so here we go, round 76. As you, as you can see, that was a lot of regrowth ceramics, and the Heart of Oak just made it so that um, I stripped the ceramics of their regrow, so it was fairly easy to deal with. It was just a bunch of ceramics. Not too intimidating. But yeah, I'm nearly to a perma spike, only uh, 8k to go. Alright, here we go, and I have now have my perma spike. So now what I do is I save up for an Avatar of Wrath. And we're going, going to be using this guy to both take down uh, the BAD on round 100. And the, to knock down the DDTs, because um, Permaspike cannot pop DDTs unless you go top path, which I'm not going because I want to be able to keep the spike pile um, nice and large. So if a DDT gets to your spike pile, it's game over. You're not going to be able to get your Black Chimps badge. You're either going to, have to pull the Home Tech where you hit Home and then go back in, and it start and it pu puts you at the start of the round. You're gonna have to go back through and um you have to go you have, you'll have to go back through and play from the beginning, which is which would be fairly annoying. Let's see I want and whenever you get the Avatar of Wrath, you wanna make sure you put him on strong. Uh just to make sure he knocks down the DDTs. And the next few rounds, nothing much happens, so I'm just going to skip ahead to the 90s, or whenever I can afford my avatar. Alright, here we are. We're coming up on round 90, which is when DETs start coming out, and I need to make sure to, they don't get to my spike file. So just to be safe, I'm going to put this guy on strong. I don't think it matters whether you do or not. I'm just going to do it, uh, just for my own sanity. And there we go, T we took it down extremely easily. I'm gonna put this guy back to first. And we're very close to affording the Avatar of Wrath, we're only 8k off. So, or 10, yeah, 9, whatever. Math is hard. As long as we can afford an Avatar by round 95, we're set. And like right here, see, we, we leaked 72 lives. So it's very important that you have this uh, spike factory. If I didn't go for a perma spike, I could have had an avatar of Wrath by now and probably uh, not leak those. But it doesn't really matter. You can do uh, whatever makes your heart happy. So let's see here. I believe I'll have enough t uh, money to afford a uh, an avatar. If not, then I just wasted half an hour of my life. Or however long I've been recording for. 21 minutes and 27 seconds of my life. And now we're up to 4,700, so yeah. 
Probably could have been imported if I got the avatar, but still. And before I get the avatar, I'm just going to explain how it works. So what it says, the more blooms there are, the more damage it does. So basically, the higher the RBE, the red bloom equivalent. So basically, how many bloom, however many blooms are on the screen. Like, the amount of pops it would take to knock um, down the same amount of health in red blooms. So like, for example, around 40 Moab has 400 RBE, I believe, because it has 400 health. The higher the RBE, the more damage it does. And what and you can tell uh, how charged up it is by the bolts it shoots. Whenever the bolts it shoots are gold like this, that means that it's fully charged and it's doing the maximum popping power that it can. And whenever they turn, whenever the top of the bolts turn black, uh, like they're red, like they are now, it means it's half damage. Whenever they turn black, that means it's doing the least damage it can possibly do. And j just to be safe, I uh, tend to get this this uh, Spike Factory Amib, just in case the DDC leaks through. It's not at all required, I just like having the safety of it. I'm just going to get Super Mines, because why not? Yeah, I don't have all my towers yet, so... And there we go. And we don't even leak any, which is fantastic. And now, the rest is pretty much smooth sailing, I believe. I'm sure about, about round 99, like, some might get, uh, some blooms might get through to my perma spike. I'm not sure. Only time will tell. And just because I need to level on my towers, I'm just gonna throw down a, uh, a, uh, A zero two four glue gun, but on strong. And there we go. Game one. And then just for kicks, I'll throw it on Gwen. Level five. Why not? So here are the fortified DDTs. They aren't an issue at all. I was thinking kind of far, but no. Not even going to make it to the perma spike. And then the BAD piece should be a piece of cake. The Avatar of Wrath just has so much damage to it. It's actually insane. And just like that, we beat Chimps mode. Black Chimps badge. And let's see what our instant monkey is. Hey, it's an 031 dart monkey. Not at all fitting. Alright, so yeah, that is how I got Black Border on logs. Uh, if you want to see me uh, go for Black Border on any other map, just leave a comment down below. And I'll go for it. And I'll see you guys next time.